good morning. Little late intro here. Just went to a Pilates class, obviously. I was a little bit worried about how that would feel because my pelvis has been a little bit sore, but it actually felt really good. I'm glad I got up and did it. I'm going to go meet Alex for coffee. It is actually a very exciting day today because it is July 26th, which means it is publication day for my third cookbook, Simple Vegan Kitchen, which means it's out today. It should be in stores today slash over the coming days. I just feel like it's like a long time coming and then the day comes and you're like, shit, it's here. Which, yeah, doesn't mean I have to do much today. Um, obviously post about it on socials and I will obviously want to go check out some stores and see if it is in there. I want to take Bowie along too. And then I want to cook something yummy from the book for dinner tonight to show you guys and to share with Alex and Bowie. So that's pretty much the agenda for today. Probably a little bit of work as well, but yeah, I'll bring you guys along for a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> What's this new throwing of the, of the, the juice? <laughs> What colour juice did you get? Yellow. Yellow? Oh, you dropped it. Yeah, Not green. It's okay. I, I got it for you. I got it. Guess Daddy got it. Have. You got Guess green. Guess what we're going to have when we get home. Guess what we're going to have. Guess what? We're going to have bread. No. Yeah, we're going to have toast. Eggs. Toast? No. What do, you, what do you want then? You yeah, want a cozy? I have one of them too. We're one's celebrating, coming. Bowie. One's coming. So tough. Thank you. How are we all? We are, we're well today. Today's a good day. It is. Today's a good day. Today's a good day. Do you want some? No. You don't? How you going, Odie? So, Odie's doing this thing where she shakes. When she's in Alex's car, she did it yesterday and she just did it today with him. Like, full body shakes. So, I want to, like, Put it to the test and see if it's his car because maybe she won't shake in my car. Let's see. Hey, Odie. Ready? Odie, I think you're proving my theory correct. No shakes. You just like mummy's car. Is that it? Uh, <laughs> He's good. And if if you're a really yeah. if you're a really keen eye, what is that? a little colour scheme, oh. Oh. blue and yellow. Oh, that's really. Did you think of that? Before, I, well, they didn't think of it. They don't know what colour. Bobby, <laughs> did Daddy get them for Mummy? Did he? No, Bobby did. Did you help him pick? <laughs> you didn't. Were you there though? No. You weren't. Where were you? Congrats, Bob. Thanks, You're Bob. You're a superstar. I love you. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, do I get a kiss, Bowie? <laughs> Thanks, Bubba. Oh, Thanks. This is the best bit. <laughs> the card, the thought and intention was there, but he just didn't get round to writing on it. <laughs> Beautiful thought. Save it for the next occasion. <laughs> Really I'm just envisioning the words. Mm. You're a man of lots of them. More flowers at the door? How pretty are they? Alex said his is better because he's a themed the color. Bigger, they are, more they are themed to the color of the book. Who are they from? Let's see. And then, you wouldn't believe it, but it's the card that Alex got me <laughs> written on. <laughs> Hails up? Written on's better. Oh, boo boo. Happy Publish Day, book three. You're, oh, this is written by Bon. Did she drop them off? She must have. Very proud and awe of how you do it all. Excited to have our copies here on your kitchen bench with special mems of the boys on the pages. Love you, El Boo Boo, Jarrah, and Wee. Cute. That's the card that Alex got. So, hey? Yeah, boots. Pressure on Lauren now. <laughs> <laughs> you thought they were Lauren from Lauren? I thought they were from my sister because she did ask me yesterday when the book comes out. So, yeah. These are anyway, we are going to head to the shops now and see if we can find it in some shops because that's always a bit of a novelty, a bit fun. Um, and I want to bring Bowie along for that experience because I think, yeah, well, he's obsessed with the book. He seriously just like wants to read through it and flick through it. I think I'm going to have to have like a Bowie copy that he's allowed to touch because he's going to probably destroy it with his little hands. 
um, and then a nice copy for me that I keep up on the bench up high. Yeah, anyway, let's go. All right, first store. Bowie, will we find it? Team Frozen? <laughs> mm. All right, so first store, Target. None from one. <laughs> We're at zero. We're <laughs> All right, location number two. <laughs> Got this. Banana. Yeah, banana. And this. Also, guys, if you ever see my book, you just gotta do this. All right, number two. Alex, can you do the hand signal? Number two. Zero. Zero from two. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we're jump. We're walking. Yeah, we're gonna get that way. Look at this, this is all their books. No, I'm sure they're books, are they? Oh. Hello. What do you see? Oh my god. That's gonna make some sales based on tantrums. That is so good. <laughs> Open, um, open three. Open three. I think we might be a little bit early in the um, publication process because it's publication day today, but that doesn't necessarily mean these shops have them on shelves that day. But I just, you know, I'm holding on to some hope. There is a bookshop here that I think might have it. section <laughs> folks we're four and oh no good goodbye <laughs> love you all we have spotted these two again at odds are not looking too favorable right now that's number what four i think we're just gonna go to one more all right bowie bowie don't tap out now we've got one more to do one more will big w have it is the question Everyone's wondering. He's had five shots. Is this all and she's course? missed them all. <laughs> Top 10 new release. That's definitely where it is, guys. <laughs> That's it. How could I be so silly? Bow, bow. <laughs> Can't Throw actually out. find uh, any. any of my books here. So I just um, have to have a little word with Big W about this situation because they are so far losing this tour. Because they don't even have the other ones. Rude. Must be, must be sold out. <laughs> Definitely sold Definitely out. Sold out. <laughs> we got zero, zero from Minus five. five. All misses. But give us a week. We'll be back, baby. A little bit of a... Um, we'll be back. A little bit of an anti-climax to my day. Which sucks. <laughs> but I've still got to find it on iBooks as well. I can't find it there either. But it's on the Wholesome Store. Promptly, it was online at 9 a.m. this morning, wasn't it? It was on the wholesome store, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. We're getting some coffees takeaway, gonna get home. It's where we've gotta go to bed. So, as if my day couldn't get any more anticlimactic, I just realized my Prada bag's ready for collection. My bag that I ruined trying to wash it and I sent it off to their team to get fixed and they couldn't fix it, so even more anticlimactic. I get to pick up my dirty bag. So I've been at work for the last couple of hours. I'm trying to answer some more questions. I did a little question box about the book, but I'm just going through the book and I'm trying to get a tally of like the gluten-free and gluten-free option in the book to get like a proper count. Pretty much most of them are. Um, and a lot of the ones that are like gluten-free option is literally like it's a soup, but then we've suggested to serve with sourdough, so you can just swap it for gluten-free bread. Very straightforward. There's even some in there which you could easily tweak, but we haven't given suggestions, so I'm leaving them out of the count, so I'm being pretty um, strict with the count. And just ordered myself some lunch. I got a Vietnamese bowl. It's like a tofu bowl. From a shop called Bun Lee and Brew. They do really good barn mees, and I've never had the bowl. And a yummy juice. This does look pretty good. See, like this uses pasta. Oh yeah, I've written gluten-free option. Never mind. 
I'm a step ahead of myself. Update, I have found the book on Apple iBooks. Just need to buy it. Yay! I like to have the ebook because then I can go shopping and cook my dinners and find the recipes while I'm out shopping. So for dinner tonight, we are making the smoky cauliflower steaks with verde. This one. Delicious. Oh smart. So it's like C page 211 for those that verde and you click on the 211 and it takes you, it's very smart, it links it and takes you to the recipe. So we've decided that Bowie's going to have his dinner now, we're going to put him to bed and then we're going to cook together to really just enjoy each other's company and concentrate on cooking. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, so Bowie's having a really riveting stuff, he's got some ravioli. A station, I'd call it's it. It's a little bento box. He's got some avocado, he loves avocado. And we've got a cheese and Vegemite toasty. Very simple, but he is, he's a fussy boy. Let's not let him hear that, but he's fussy. Go, Bowie. <laughs> Show us your jump. Show us. Are you excited for dinner? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you're so excited. Okay. Yeah, avocado. And we're having a Vegemite toasty with butter. Okay. Yum. Guys, my house is a florist. I have the best. Friends and fam, so supportive. Thanks, Shell and Taz. That's so sweet. Got a little card. We are about to cook dinner. We are making the, I already told you, but I'll reiterate myself, because why not? We are making the cauliflower steaks. Where are they? This is what we're making. And I also got the ingredients to make the verde, and I got some potatoes, and I got some stuff to make a fennel salad, which is what we've like recommended here. So I'm making like pretty much the same thing. Maybe a little bit tweaked. Um, and we put Bowie to bed so that we can just like chill. I also got these to try while I'm cooking and I have it with dinner. It's a non-alcoholic virgin gin and tonic. Let's see what it's like. In my experience, non-alcoholic drinks are not the same, but still nice to have something, hey? And put it in a nice wine glass and feel a little bit fancy. Step is just making a seasoning to go on top of the cauliflower and cutting the cauliflower. Steaks, which you want to have nice and thick so you get a nice cauliflower steak. And then I'm going to brush with some oil. Alright, put that in the oven, please. Now let's move on to the verde, which is a delicious sauce is so zesty and full of flavor and does not use many ingredients. We have parsley in this, and usually I hate parsley. It's like the herb that I hate, but trust me, if you hate parsley, try a verde. Everything else in it will just Can't make up for that. Else. Yeah, it really does. It's just like, where are all my cushions at? <laughs> nice cutting out. Blend it until it's slightly chunky. So this is how the verde looks before we add the juicy ingredients. It just like mince it up, but not like a paste. Um, and then we add the lemon, olive oil, and salt. How much this thing in it? Looks good. Now we're gonna move on and make a salad. 
just to have some like greens to balance the dish out. So I like to do. I got some fennel. We're going to shave it really finely, which means you have to find the shaver out. And then I've got some baby spinach, and I'm just going to make like a really simple vinaigrette dressing. Just keep it really simple. Mix it up in a bowl and let it soften in the bowl. So if you haven't got around fennel yet, it is so good. I love it. It's like licorice-y, but, and I don't really like licorice, but I just love it as a vegetable. And there's a soup in my book that you need to try that has fennel in it. All right, look at that. That was so easy. Salad is done. I'm going to pop this in the fridge to keep cool while we finish the cauliflower. Here's a look. Oh, they look good. Salad. Look at that. They're some of the best, I reckon. They're really good. Maybe not even I, maybe anyone has ever made. You've outdone yourself out. Potatoes. But I haven't really asked you. Just expect this sort of shit from me. Now for the verde. There's a bit more verde there if anyone needs it. Wow, this is a big, big old meal. Here is the cauliflower steaks with verde. Alex's crispy taties and the salad, which is a fennel and spinach salad. Looks good. Yeah, Alex even laid out some placemats. Very wholesome. Very romantic. Not really, but. Mmm. I reckon. I've had it before. <laughs> All the potatoes? I've had it before. Sorry. I, don't know. I hope so. Alex's potatoes. They're really good. They are really good. Talk us through your methodology. Secret. Family secret. Family secret. Lots of oil. <laughs> shaking. Baking. Shaking. Oil. Squishing. That's right. So, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here. Thanks for coming along on my day. Book launch day. No books found in Definitely store. Definitely have Verde in the teeth. Probably have Verde in my teeth. But, obviously I'll leave all the links down below for my book where you can check it out. I'll try to get the ebook links as well, as well as a couple of different places you can shop it. Just Hopefully buy, by the buy. time you are watching it, it'll be in Australian stores. So you can get it from your local store as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's video and I can't wait to hear what you think on my book as well. So if you do get it and you do try some things, let me know what you think. Let them know. Bye.